Internal energy. Here are the aims of the video. Be able to explain how heating a substance will change the internal energy stored within the substance and will either raise the temperature of the substance or produce a change of state. Internal energy is the total energy of all the particles that are inside a substance or system. To work out the internal energy of a substance, you need to add together the kinetic energy and the potential energy of all the particles in a substance or system. Before we go any further, let's make sure you understand what kinetic energy and potential energy is in this context, because they're the most important things to understand when you're learning about internal energy. Kinetic energy is movement energy. You probably knew that already. But did you know that the temperature of a substance is caused by the movement of its particles? The more kinetic energy the particles have, the hotter the temperature of the substance or system. Potential energy is the energy due to the position of one object relative to another object. The further away objects are from one another, the greater relative potential energy they have. I've created a temperature time graph so we can look at the internal energy of a substance as it gets heated. Remember, internal energy is made up of two components, kinetic energy and potential energy. So we need to pay attention to what happens to them throughout this animation. Imagine you place an ice cube into a beaker and heat it up with a Bunsen burner. Let's look at the temperature time graph you'd get and I'll explain each part. At first, the temperature of the solid is increasing. Temperature is caused by the movement of particles, so that means the particles vibrate more and gain more kinetic energy. Then there's a change of state as the solid melts into a liquid. The intermolecular bonds are breaking and the particles are moving further apart from each other, so they gain potential energy relative to each other. It's important to note that the temperature remains constant during the change of state, so each particle's kinetic energy remains constant. Once the solid has completely melted into a liquid, the temperature of the liquid increases. Remember, Temperature is caused by the movement of particles, so that means the particles are moving more and gain kinetic energy. Then there's another change of state from liquid to gas, where the particles are moving further apart from each other, so they gain potential energy relative to each other. Once again, know that the temperature remains constant during a change of state, so each particle's kinetic energy remains constant it's only the potential energy that's increasing. It takes a lot of energy to vaporise liquid into a gas, so this change happens slowly. I'll explain more about that in my video about specific latent heat, where we'll calculate the amount of energy. Once the liquid has completely evaporated into a gas, if you continue to supply heat energy, the temperature of the gas will increase. Temperature is caused by the movement of particles, so that means the particles are moving more and gain more kinetic energy. Right, that's quite a lot to take in and can seem complicated at first. Let me show you a simplified way to visualise how heat energy from a Bunsen burner is transferred into internal energy within a substance by using three measuring cylinders. One measuring cylinder represents the heat energy supplied by the Bunsen burner, so that's the energy being put into the system or substance. One measuring cylinder represents the kinetic energy component of the internal energy, and one measuring cylinder represents the potential energy component of internal energy. Right, it's the same temperature time graph as before. I've assumed the heat energy from the Bunsen burner is being supplied at a steady rate. In other words, I'm not making the flame bigger or smaller. You can clearly see the kinetic energy increasing at first as the temperature increases. Then the potential energy increases as the substance changes state, 
but not by much, because the particles don't move that much further apart when changing from a solid into a liquid. Then the kinetic energy increases as the temperature of the liquid increases. Then the potential energy increases again as the liquid changes state into a gas. The potential energy increases by a lot because the particles of a gas are much further apart compared to the particles of a liquid. Finally, the kinetic energy increases as the temperature of the gas increases. I'll quickly show you what the temperature time graph looks like for a substance cooling down, so you can see the kinetic energy and potential energy being lost at each stage of the graph. In a nutshell, kinetic energy is lost if the temperature cools down, and potential energy is lost when it changes state and results in particles coming closer together. Here's a summary of internal energy. Pause the video and have a look. Thank you very much. I hope that video was useful and the animations help you to understand your physics better. Subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more, bang that bell all over the place, smash that like button while you're at it, and apart from that, work hard, be nice, and bye for now.